states, no team does a better job of stretching points along with the Wildcats' top three in the country in digs, earning more attacks than any other school. Washburn is in a big yeah! Coach, 12 straight NCAA tournaments. How's that feel? Great. Feels great. Um, very excited for our kids. And um, uh, what, what, a, what a tough region it is, you know, just to begin with. And, and then um, just to, uh, to get in is, is you know, going to be a great experience for them. I'm glad that, that uh, it, kind of the seeds played out the way it did because that allows us to play someone that we have not played previously. Um, you know, new and different, and um, and uh, you know, just uh, I think that it, it it makes our kids a little more uh, eager and practice a little more hungry, knowing that they don't know the opponent and and uh, the unknown is out there. So uh, yeah, we're, we're we're excited about it. Central Region always tough. You guys were kind of on the bubble headed into this. What did you tell your kids today before you know in practice before the selection show? I lied to them. Yeah, I lied to him. I, uh, I, you know, I'm on the committee, so I, I kind of knew what, what was, what was, how it was going to play out. Um, but you know, we just told him that it was going to be close. It was going to be tight, and we didn't know if we were in. We didn't know who we were going to play, and if we were in, and all that kind of stuff. And um, so, you know, we had to keep trying to poker face, straight face all day, and um, just you know, not not show our hand. And practice went really well today as a result. So. It's good. You had a week off, kind of a little bit of downtime yeah. here before. How do you approach that uh, with the team in practice and just mentally getting ready? Yeah, we try to heal some kids. I think that's the the biggest thing is that, I, and I know every team's like that. This point of the year, they got just nagging injuries, little things that you know bugging kids. So you want to make sure that you rest the kids that need to be rested and maybe work harder the kids that you know that maybe don't have don't get as many many reps in in a in a match situation. Um, so that's kind of what we did today, and that's how we'll approach it in the next few days. Perfect. Thanks, Coach. Good luck in Minnesota. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Here's Sarah Vickery, middle hitter for the Washburn Ichabod. Sarah just got the news, another NCAA tournament. How's that feel? It feels awesome. Um, tonight, hear your name being called, it's a great feeling. I think a lot of us were super anxious about today and just kind of wondering what was going to happen and then to see it up there, it's just an awesome feeling and we're really blessed to be able to go again. Central region, always really, really tough. You guys are up in St. Paul though, you kind of gotten used to going north here over the last few years. Mm -hmm. What's that going to take to come out of that region? Uh, what do you guys got to do to win it? We're all just going to have to play our best. I mean, right now we're looking to go into every practice, just working our hardest and really focusing on our side of the net. Um, in practice today, we talked a lot about, like, why not us? Why not let this be our year? So that's kind of the attitude we're going in with. Great. Sarah, congrats. Good luck. Thank you. Here with Corey Thompson, senior outside hitter for the Ichabods, after that big news at a 12th consecutive NCAA tournament. Corey, how's that feel? It feels awesome. I mean, we were all a little nervous, like Sarah said earlier, um, when we came in, not knowing if we were in or not. But when we heard our name across the thing, it felt great to get in. Great. You guys have made it every year that you've been here, fifth year senior now. What's that say about Washburn? I mean, you guys are always there, always in the picture. What's that say for this program, for Coach Heron? It Ichabod. says a lot. We hold each other to really high expectations for this program. I mean, they've gone almost every year that I know of, and to keep it going means a lot. Corey, your opponent, Southwest Minnesota State, you guys have only seen them once historically, but never this year. And, you know, a lot of teams from the Central Region you have seen um, before, especially, you know, the four teams from the MIAA. Is that something that you, you know, you're excited about, that you don't have to face one of those teams that you've already run a gauntlet with, that you've already gone to battle a few times with? We are. It's good to see, like, someone new just to get something different and, like, we get to watch film over them and see their tendencies and stuff. And I think it's good that we get someone new instead of someone we've ran across a lot. Great, Corey. Thanks so much. Good luck in Minnesota. Thanks.